Alex Jr. will catch our press turn with Aaron Lafarge, who returns to action next Friday at CFFC 112. Aaron, how are you? Doing great, Alex. Uh, thank you for asking. Awesome, Good to see man. you again. Good to see you, man. I, I always love chatting with you. Um, man, you're Thanks, a week man. out. You're a week out. How are you feeling? Yeah. I feel great, Alex. I feel this is probably one of my best training camps. Uh, obviously, on a good card, co-main event. So we're putting a lot of work in with my team, my coaches, and we're excited about this opportunity. What makes this training camp any better than all than all the rest? I think it's just uh, you know, it's all it's it's uh, just coming together nicely. Um, probably a little better than expected. Just the game plan, everything's going sharp and ready, ready to go. Awesome, dude. Well, um, last time we talked, you were just coming off your win over Roz. I think it was like like three days after. Um, and you said that you were going to take a little time off. How how long did you take off before you got this uh, this call? Yeah, it, it wasn't too too far after Alex. We talked, so yeah, I remember we were talking sometime in the summer, right around yeah. August. Really. So you know, it's late August, so it was kind of around the time we were talking about. Awesome, dude. Um, but before we get to your fight, I did I did want to just kind of step back on that on that Roz fight, man. Um, it's been a little bit. You've had some time to chew on it, some time to reflect on it. How how do you feel about your performance? I uh, felt great. It, it, I mean, it, like I said, it was just. Uh, I think this camp is just kind of snowballed off of that one, and I we felt it was great. We felt everything went accordingly in his plan. Kind of just kind of like how he was. He's a good striker. Uh, we wanted to kind of test his striking and take away some of his weapons. Uh, my striking coach, he's probably one of the best, Alex um, Edgar Edgar Torres. So well, he's a, a Muay Thai, mostly Muay Thai. So we work kicks, we work a lot of different things, and just all my coaches in general. You know, my boxing coach as well. So we we put it all together, and um, yeah, we just felt like everything went smooth and as planned. Awesome, it's awesome to hear. Um, well, let's get right to it, man. Uh, it's a big fight, big platform, big stage. Um, you're fighting James Clark next Friday. Um, firstly, how do you like the matchup? I personally like it. I think it's stylistically, it's it's a it's a really good matchup for us. Um, I, obviously, I talked to all my uh, people, you know, my team, and uh, you know, the coaches as well. We really like this matchup. I mean, everybody was like, "Hey, this is." this is a great opportunity for you right here, you know, a co-main event on for CFFC. Um, you know, yeah, we like it. He's a, he's just really one dimensional. He's kind of a, just a strong wrestler, but I mean, it's something you've never seen before. He literally has very little striking, but I'm not, over, I'm not underestimating him one bit, but his striking is not even on a level of as Raz. So. Awesome. Awesome. So are you expecting him just to come out and uh, wrestle you? Well, you know what? It's funny. It's because we, we did we kind of uh we did this little side by side interview thing about a few about a month ago, and he was kind of I mean he he's gonna wrestle me. He really is. I mean, that's something we he talked about in the interview. But I, he's gonna come out and wrestle. I mean, his last three fights are. I mean, uh, anybody can watch him. And he's throwing one two punches, one kick. He's he's just a wrestler, really. Um. He, the fact that he's got away with it for so long is um, he's going to run into a different type of fighter than, than myself. So, Awesome. Awesome. Um, CFFC, uh, how, how'd you get this gig? Um, you know, through, uh, obviously uh, through good management, great management. So uh, Julian, uh, you know, put me onto this fight. Uh, you know, CFFC, he, there's a couple fights, you know, that have come across the table for me. Um, they wanted me to fight straight away, actually, for uh, the current champion, or I think he was an interim, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we felt James was the – I felt James was the better fight with the full camp. So, I I like this fight, you know. James comes in with good experience, but, I mean, I just think I'm a bad matchup for him overall, so. It's on UFC Fight Pass. You're, you're the co-main event. How's that feel? Uh, it's exciting, Alex. You know, it's everything you work, uh, you know, it's all the hard work. is. I'm ready to introduce myself to the world, really. You know, people, a lot of people are going to see this fight. Um, you know, I, there's a, one, Jason, I believe, a journalist from Canada, is saying this is one of the biggest fights out of the UFC, outside of the UFC. Uh, so at flyweight, 
So I'm excited about this opportunity. I really think I could show my, this is the time to show my skills to everybody and um, really show what I'm about. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Like, are you, are you very happy to finally be in front of a big audience that, I mean, CFC is watched by a lot of people and um, you know, and, and, right. and, and you might not feel like you're not noticed, but after this fight, people are going to know your name. Right. Exactly. Alex. So yeah, absolutely. And I just feel like, you know, James is just a stepping stone and what I'm, where I'm going. So I, I feel like this is, this is where I want to be uh, in, in my journey. And I'm excited about it. Awesome. Awesome. Um, at the end of the day, August 26th, how do you get your hand raised? Um, any way possible, Alex, but you know, I, like I said, we did a little interview with James, and he was, you know, he was talking a lot. And I, you know, if any way a finish comes, or just any way, I, I, any way possible. But I just see myself, you know, out wrestling him and out striking him. So I really, I don't want to make predictions, but it's going to be one that you don't want to miss. I like get your popcorn ready. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm excited for you, man. Um, you know, not not looking past this guy at all, but what do you want the rest of your year to look like? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, we'll see. Um, there's obviously plans. Uh, after this fight, I mean, obviously for the winner in general. Um, but uh, I, I, yeah, we'll see what's out there. We'll see what uh, you know, or you know, CFFC was. Um, it's just yeah, like I, it's hard to say right now, Alex, but just focus right here on James and you know once we eliminate him and it's on to the next you're fighting in Philadelphia H have you ever been to Philadelphia you know it's funny I've, I haven't been to I went when I was about like nine years old but I haven't been back since so I'm excited as a obviously as an adult so there's a lot of good places to check out of here but um, you know it's it's mostly a business trip but I'd like to take a day or so to check it out check the city out get a Philly cheesesteak maybe <laughs> awesome, dude. awesome um finally i just wanted to ask uh one of your past opponents cody davis uh he fought um last month at lfa and uh he got he got he got dominated and i just wanted to know if you if you saw that fight you know i didn't uh i did not there was highlights and i think uh my boxing coach he was there um uh, dale he he uh, we talked a little bit, but I didn't see it personally, but I did see some highlights. It looks like he got out wrestled a lot. Um, unfortunately, it's something he, once again, he's like James, he, he's got away with it for so long until he runs into a certain person, you know, where that it doesn't, you have to be well-rounded completely, like really do to, to actually develop in the sport to get to the higher levels. It's just, it's just what it is, you know? So, um, yeah, I wish him, you know, the, nothing but the best. I'm on my journey, so I don't, you know, I didn't really see it. So awesome, Aaron. Thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to pull your social media, plug any sponsors you might have. If you want to thank anybody? The floor is yours. Okay. Uh, yeah, check me out on Instagram, um, Aaron L A underscore F A R G E one. Uh, also on Twitter. Uh, that's about, and also I have a Facebook athlete page. If you guys want to check it out, if you're on there, um, I do want to uh, thank my sponsors, punch gunk. Uh, also let's see hindsight. Um, let's see, uh, Tony Mazza and, uh, Dom real estate. And yeah, well, uh, that's, that's the main ones. Also, I'd like to thank all my coaches, my teammates, you know, 10th Planet Mission Viejo, Coach Matt, Coach Kyle, Shanae, uh, my share the condition, Coach Daniel, um, Big Alex for pushing me in the gym, and also Coach Dale Robal, uh, my boxing coach for many years. So I just want to thank all those guys from across the board. Edgar Torres, uh, my Muay Thai, also another friend, coach. So everybody, I just want to thank my teammates. Thank you, Alex. One of the best journalists in the game. So check Alex's workout. Uh -huh.